Hello and welcome to Shindu.org. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to calculate distance and travel time between two locations on Earth using both Bing Maps and Google Maps API through Excel. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get the API keys. For the actual process of calculating the distance and how to use this template, uh, just head on over to the detailed article that is linked in the description of this video uh, and, and, and watch those instructions. Um, so let me first quickly demonstrate the purpose. I'm using both APS Bing Maps and Google Maps. In the Bing Maps API, uh, in order to use these APIs, you need uh, API keys. I have hidden away the key here, uh, um, but uh, there is a key in the C3 cell. And uh, you start off by specifying for the Bing Maps API to work the distance API. Uh, you need to start off with origin and destination address. And then we need to figure out what is the latitude and longitude of these origins and destinations. So imagine you wanted to go from Stephen Street, Johnsonville, Wellington, New Zealand to Bowen Street, Wellington, New Zealand. Um, because the formulas are already working, I'll just change the address so that uh, we will we will see something else. Uh, so I think I'll give Philip Street. I'm not even sure if that's the correct name. Uh, but um, once I enter, I'm using the first API, which is the point lookup uh, API, uh, to find out what is the latitude and longitude of that address. If it is a if it is not a specific point, like not an address, but a street name or or a region name then I think you will get the center point address uh, and um, and that's the address uh, latitude and longitude and that's the latitude and longitude for the destination and we can also see the status codes 200 means it's all good we with the XML response that we received is good and then given these latitude and longitudes I can then ask Bing Maps uh, through a different API distance lookup API uh, what would be the distance between these two points if I am uh, let's say driving you can drive you can walk you can transit uh, depending on what you are doing uh, the distance uh, will be same but uh, the distance might change uh, but the travel time will, will definitely change so once you paste that request uh, through another lookup URL uh, we will get another XML response the status code is 200 and then from that XML I am extracting the distance and the travel time um, like this if you drive it's 8.97 kilometers and it takes seven and a half minutes um, now uh, to do the actual XML to get the XML from the API I'm using the that's the response I'm using web service command in Excel web service is a built-in function that does the work for us and then once the web services gives gives me the XML then I'm using filter XML to extract the XML bits from the data uh, providing an XPath so that's the process for Bing Maps API we have to do two lookups one for converting the points to latitude and longitudes and the second one to calculate the distance matrix you can use this particular URL uh, to calculate distance between a an origin and destination or a set of origins and destinations and create a complex matrix so it's quite powerful now we will go to Google Maps this is slightly more refined uh, again we need a key and then that uh, request URL you can just type the address both addresses and then you can say what travel mode you have Google has option for bicycling as well uh, and then uh, once you have these details we will simply uh, construct the URL and then get a response through web service and then quickly check the status if everything is okay and then the distance is 1318 kilometers and it takes 13 hours 16 minutes to travel this is uh, address of Apple and that's the address of Microsoft so if you want to go from Apple to Microsoft it takes 13 hours 16 minutes so now that we understand how this is all working you can change these things and it will recalculate uh, let me quickly demonstrate how to get these API keys because that's where it's quite technical and uh, not as easy as writing a formula in a cell so um, we'll start off with the Bing Maps you go to the Bing Maps portal dot com and uh, click on the sign in button at this point you will be asked to log into your Microsoft account um, I'm 
assuming most of us have Microsoft accounts in case you do not uh, chances are you have if you're using Windows 10 then there is a high possibility that you already have a Microsoft account if not uh, you can create one for free um, I'll just quickly log into my Microsoft account and uh, I have already registered for the for the API um, somehow it came back to the same page uh, but now it, it is it is signed in right uh, there is few more things but uh, my account details uh, it has some blah 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 details and then I can I can get the keys I already have a key I'm, I'm just gonna blur the key here so you can't even see anything uh, but you can create a new key so once you log in it's, it's completely free uh, and uh, there is a rate limit that means the number of requests you can make would be limited unless you start paying Microsoft uh, but for simple Excel spreadsheet based work I think uh, the free keys that you get will be sufficient right so that's how you do this for Bing Maps portal I find it very very straightforward and with a couple of clicks we could get the API key now let's take a look at the Google Maps API. You will go to the Google Maps URL, get API key. You, you don't even need to know this URL. You can just go to Google and type Google Maps API key and then one of the first results would be this. And there would be a big blue button called Get Started. That's what you want to click, which will take us to another page that looks like this. It asks you uh, what APIs do you want? You can pick a different set of APIs. It seems a little confusing but uh, I think the API that we want is routes and uh, probably places so I'll select both of them and then click on continue so this is where things go south you will be asked to log into your Google account uh, and I found this process somewhat tedious cumbersome and confusing and predominantly designed only for developers not for normal people who are not building a lot of code but essentially once you log into Google account uh, it will look like this so after you log in and finally kind of manage to get everything in place uh, and give your project a name I called mine distance matrix in Excel uh, you will be asked to give a project name uh, or create a project and it would look something like this at some point during the process you will also be asked to provide your credit card details but Google clearly states on that page that you will not be automatically billed uh, you will be notified whenever Google decides to automatically charge your credit card so it seems like safe and and the API limit is fairly high for normal day-to-day -day spreadsheet usage uh, but make sure you're not manically pressing F9 key because every time you press F9 another API call will be made and you might eventually reach the rate limit uh, but there would be a credentials tab through which you can access your API key and copy that API key so no matter which way you want to go or you will end up with an API key and once you have that API key then you could uh, read the documentation to understand what calls you can make and, uh, and and know more about it in this video my intention is to just demonstrate the application and uh, tell you how to get the API keys uh, because the API key acquisition process seems somewhat technical I thought a quick demo would, would do the justice um, unfortunately I cannot show you the screens through which Google takes me to bring me here uh, because once I have finished that process there is no way I could go back to it I tried looking it up pausing the video but there's nothing uh, but I find that uh, the, the credit card screens are somewhat clumsy and uh, it only worked for me when I uh, when I opened an in private browser window where there's no history of cookies or anything so because on my main browser window in my in Chrome and in, in Internet Explorer uh, my Google account is logged in so I could not really uh, seem to go through that process in a seamless way but once I went to the in private window I could actually get into the API get the keys give my credit card details and uh, and have the key there so that's how you would get the key once the key is there then you can come to the spreadsheet template that I have provided in the description below uh, and, and put the key there and, and then the file starts working automatically make changes to the URLs or, or the way the calculation is working 
and uh, you will be able to calculate distance matrix and travel time between two points so there you go i hope you found this interesting read the dis detailed uh, article that is linked in the description to know about the exact process of using the api key to make the calls